In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, disable modules on a Autopulse IQ-318. Um, currently, I have the modules disabled already, but I'm just going to show you how to go do it. Um, usually, you'll see some sort of writing or notes on the inside here with the module numbers. Um, and this one, they have this, this card that's sitting right here. So, these are basically the modules that you want to disable for the door holders, dampers, heat, AC, and all that. So we'll use this as our guide. So you want to start, want to hit the enter button, and then you want to hit number one for programming. That's going to ask you for a password. So this one's going to be five ones. Uh, typically it'll be five ones, five zeros, five twos, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And once you go in there, you just hit signal silence to stop the beeping. Um, you'll hit number one again for disable. And you see it gives you a zone. If you want to disable by zone, if you want to disable by mod module, if you want to disable by detector, or do you want to disable by output. So I want to do modules, so all the M's. Uh, so I'm going to hit the pound, which is right over here. And then it's going to bring me down here for module. And so it's module 008. So I hit M, or I hit the pound already for module. So now I'm going to hit uh, 0. Zero, 08 and E means enter so I'm going to hit enter and now you can see the this disable relays highlight or the relays highlighted as disabled because I already have it disabled but if it wasn't it'd be enabled so to change that I would simply come over here to the plus and minus so I'll hit the plus and it changes to enable and once I hit enter it will enable it but for right now since we're testing I'm going to leave it disabled so we can go back to that and I would do the same procedure for all of these modules. And then you could just escape uh, left arrow here out to get back to the main menu where you started. And that's how you disable modules on a Autopulse IQ-318.